A YouTuber in Central Texas named Dylan Dickerson stopped feeling safe from home years ago when he first heard these strange sounds in the sky in December of 2018. I hope you can hear that. What's especially scary about this video is that at times, it sounds like a scary voice. Now we're hearing them again. At other times, it sounds like something else completely. It just seems like they're always barking. Almost like a battle of some sort just beyond our galaxy. I still don't know what that is. As this video taken two and a half years later shows, the unexplained sounds in the sky have not gone away. If anything, they've become louder and more persistent, like it's evolving. I think these are real sky sounds caught on tape because the bird sounds up close and the sky noises are far away. Plus, two years is a long time to keep faking the same kind of video without much notice. So I believe in these scary sounds over Dylan's house. Do you? This mysterious CCTV video, taken from a warehouse belonging to a company called Party Packs, shows a stalker having all of his hard work undone in a matter of seconds when some items randomly fly off the shelf, which then begins to shake on its own. Nearby boxes almost fly into his face when he bends down to retrieve the fallen items. It could just be a string, but I definitely see some kind of tall figure standing just beyond the boxes just after it happens. Something is definitely moving its head here at the 36 second mark. After the stalker runs away, we get to see down the other side of the aisle from a different camera. That's when a transparent person briefly appears wearing a long robe that touches the floor, perhaps the same figure that appeared behind the boxes before. The camera malfunctions and when it comes back, we see them again in the static, much closer this time, studying the camera curiously before it breaks entirely. The company would stop uploading for 7 years shortly after this video was made, so perhaps they really were scared out of business and recently reacquired. Shawnee Explores takes a Ouija board into the forest and places it just outside of a haunted cottage where a man took the life of his spouse. It isn't long before his electromagnetic frequency reader starts going crazy, so he and his friends know they are in the right place and set up the board. Soon they are channeling the spirit of a small boy boy who only refers to himself by the initials SF. They ask the boy for his age and some other questions, but apparently it's only interested in trying to warn them about a hidden danger, R-U-N it spells, so they get out of there fast without properly ending the ceremony. When Shawnee Explorers remembers that he needs to select goodbye or risk becoming possessed, he discovers that he can't move the pointer without an extreme amount of force. It's almost as if something is not letting him move. You can see the pointer barely moving despite Shawnee pressing very hard, but I guess he could be pressing straight down instead of forward to create this illusion. I think this video is probably real, but I can't tell for sure so give me your best guess and let's figure it out together. A customer reaches for a drink when he begins to shake and sputter out of control. It looks like it could be a seizure, but he does not fall down right away, so some people say it's a possession. At the 48 second mark, he points to something only he can see and begins shrieking in horror. This is when he goes down a second time and does not come back up.
One minute and five seconds into the video, you can see a ghostly figure in the reflection to his left that could be the spirit of his aggressor. Paper towels fly to the ground on their own shortly after in a further indication of paranormal possession. This video looks like it was intentionally set up to capture something that has been appearing in a closet lately. At first, you can't really see anything, but after a while, the shadows begin to form into a human-like figure. The shadowy shape peeks out from behind the door and at one point even appears to have two bright white eyes. The grainy quality of this video is a strong indication that it was edited. But then again, this may be a very old cell phone video or perhaps a very early internet video that needed to be heavily compressed before uploading. If you heard this sound in the middle of nowhere, what would you do? Instagram account Cryptid University posts this video taken at a borrowed cabin in the middle of the forest. Listen closely. I don't know about you, but I got absolute chills from this audio. Listen again. Is this a skinwalker? I think it might be, and if so, it's actually closer than we think. October of 2017 is when a Canadian YouTuber named Moosey started to experience supernatural problems in his home that were far from normal. Things like spirit sightings and hearing voices. Something is in his house with him, something he can't see and wants gone. One afternoon, Moosey is playing a PS4 game with his brother when the television starts acting up in a way that's been happening far too often lately. And it's really weird, like, he's been telling me it's been happening all day. Somebody could have simply turned it off with a remote. His brother Joe isn't holding the remote, but maybe Moosey is. I don't think it was either one of them though, because it looks like somebody unplugged the television, even though they were both across the room. Guys, what the f This is what I'm seeing! Disconnected again! What's going on? And when you look again at 4 minutes and 23 seconds, you might be able to see the faintest orb go by his wrist. Since this was made in October, I was thinking maybe this was a Halloween video or something like that, but Moosey's paranormal problems continued well into November. That's when it moved into his room. He claims he can no longer sleep because it feels as if something is watching over him. Guys, I don't know what's going on. There's just something preventing me. At 1 minute and 30 seconds, there are bags under his eyes that were not visible in the previous video from a week ago, so I see no reason not to believe what he says. As, as tired as I get, you know, you can see bag, bags under my eyes because I get really tired of my health. After days of no sleep, he now has a plan to cleanse the room. Moosey blends a special root with various household ingredients to make a powdery substance that is believed to keep spirits away. Interestingly enough, the sound on his camera cuts out and this orb appears just outside of his room, so perhaps there is some value in what he's about to do after all. I think it's interesting how the sound cuts off again here, almost like the spirits don't want to hear him finish what he has to say. Demons, be gone. Or it could have just been a technical problem uploading the video to YouTube. Anyway, after completing the exorcism, he waits until 3am before declaring everything is okay. He didn't wait long enough though. This is what happens 5 minutes after 3am. Free me from all this- oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you guys hear that? I really wish he would have thrown open the door here so we could have seen for ourselves what was on the other side. The fact that he waits for almost a full minute makes me wonder if this really was his nerves betraying him or just stalling to give his friends time to get off camera. Nothing is in the other room, but if he wanted to prove beyond a doubt that his house was haunted, he should have swallowed his fear and opened the door a bit sooner. Easier said than done, I guess. Moosey did eventually move two years later. He and Hype Mike are giving a tour of their new house when it becomes apparent that his paranormal troubles are far from over. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Nick. Whoa! The knocking comes from behind him, yet no one is at the door. However, in the mirror stands a small hooded figure. Or maybe it's just the top of Hype Mike's hat. 
when they check the camera, the picture becomes garbled by what I suspect is paranormal energy from the same ghost as before. It's found their new address and it wants in. At 8 minutes and 27 seconds, they catch a glimpse of someone running up the stairs. Then they see it in a different monitor right outside of their door before the screen goes white. And that's when what happens in Moosey's old house at 3am repeats itself. The door somehow locks even though they're on the side with a lock on it. So that's either paranormal or just an oversight in their skit, but I was kind of let down when they show it. I'm sorry, but I absolutely refuse to believe that this person in an all black spandex outfit is a ghost. So I'm not exactly buying this one, but it doesn't mean that the videos in his old house weren't real or that this wasn't a crazy fan who got their address. A man and a woman are enjoying a private plane ride when suddenly their pilot slumps over and becomes unresponsive. Watch the trees and you'll see the plane is really sideways and they are really freaking out. It looks like she is going to take off her safety belt and jump when the pilot springs back to life and everyone starts laughing. Everyone but her. Do you think this joke went too far? I think there's a certain line between tasteful and terrifying that they may have crossed. And any prank where you fly with your eyes closed probably isn't the best idea. A YouTuber named Nicholas Asher is recording his two children when they nearly get more than just a little rain. Whoa! Get inside! Get inside! Holy sh! Okay. The lightning bolt hurtles down towards the kids and lands over in the next yard from the sound of it. They quickly scatter to safety into the garage. A man in Malaysia is being haunted by a paranormal activity that stays right outside his home. He has the door partially open to show that there's not anyone knocking on his door. When he opens the door fully, it's gone, but only until nightfall. When he goes to look outside, nothing is there. Nothing except for this bizarre sighting in the distance. Baru terjadi sekarang nih, Bob. If you were thinking this is a ray of light reflecting into the camera, so did I. But that same night he claims the figure looked at him through the window, and here you can see its hooded face with large, hollow black eyes. The fact that this is an image when the rest is video makes me think this is a photoshop that he doesn't have the editing skills to make into a video, but seeing this makes me want to look over my shoulder at the window behind me nonetheless. Be banned. People online are wondering if this is a rock band full of zombies. Shared by YouTube channel EXTV, this video is currently trending in the Brazilian YouTube community. Watch her come to life. The act continues for several minutes. She grows more enraged by the music, but then seems to get rather into it. If you're worried about your brains being eaten, never fear. The Walking Dead is not among us, at least not in this case. I tracked down the original source to the Instagram account of horror artist Corey Deanne Cowley.
Well, I guess this mystery is solved. That won't help with my nightmares. Although this is a stage performance, I think most of us will admit that real zombies wouldn't be a welcome addition to a heavy metal concert, no matter how emo we are. Number 3. Something is haunting the lobby of England's Brighton Museum. According to those who work there, this creepy moment caught on CCTV video at 3 a.m. could be the paranormal proof they need to be taken seriously. The camera captures a bright light and then a souvenir mysteriously falls to the ground with no one near. Kind of like a ghost move the object employees would later say. I think the quote unquote mysterious light could be a glass object reflecting light as it falls over. Maybe the shelf is a little unlevel. Maybe an employee or a visitor put it too close to the edge. I am 50-50 on this one and we'll be sure to keep an eye out for other paranormal events caught on camera at this possibly haunted museum. This old video was allegedly taken in 1988, then found in a remote log cabin decades later before making its way onto YouTube. An unseen cameraman is intently studying an open window when suddenly this happens. The window snaps shut just as a paranormal wail fills the entire forest and the camera goes blank. The quality of this video kind of looks digital to me, so this could be fake, but I'm not so sure. Maybe they were using a filter to make it look older. Let me know if you have the answer and also how you could tell. When you enter a graveyard, you may not leave alone. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Scream Gaming writes, this was caught in a cemetery when we were leaving. All four of us got chills at the time, and it felt like something left with us. In the short clip, the group is heading out of the driveway of the cemetery when you see a figure on the side of the road. According to the Redditor, they caught this creepy thing on video where in reality there was nothing, just grass and a telephone pole. Do you see it? Redditor Treadway 0311 does writing. There definitely was something there and then gone. But what was it? And where did it go? This place is 100% haunted. YouTuber Tomcat0031 captured a shadow figure streaking past the door on a floor that was empty at the time. You need no instruction on where to look. This one is hard to miss. Right, this is filming now. Right, both me and Joe seen a shadow go across this room here. Bub! <laughs> Somebody's in there. Mate, I tell you what, you're doing a good job. The way it moves doesn't seem natural, and you don't hear footsteps. It's almost like it's gliding past. Yeah. Bob. <laughs> Somebody's in there. Mate, I tell you what, you're doing a good job. Notice that you see the darkness move across the crack to the left of the door, and then you see a larger black darkness to the right of the doorway. The former looks more solid to me, which suggests that it's a solid figure, and the latter looks like a shadow being cast by that figure. Lastly, in the crack to the left, you see a figure move again in the other direction. This makes me think that whatever is there made a small circle around the room and the way the light falls casts a shadow on the far right-hand wall for a moment. But whether whatever is there is paranormal or not is the real question. Could there be spirits all around us, just out of sight? Posted to the r slash paranormal encounter subreddit, one blueberry336 asks, is this an orb? In the video, her puppy is sitting in his cage on high alert. He starts whining and lays down. Then he starts howling. Mid howl, a light orb flies by, somehow seeming to alert the dog to its presence. The dog stops his howl and looks right at it. Some in the comments think the pup really does seem to be startled by the orb and think it could possibly be paranormal, but others think it's a puppy and a flying bug. What do you think it is? Remember, animals have a better sense of the paranormal than humans. Steve Ronan knows firsthand how scary rando nodding can be and says the randonautica app is not to be taken lightly based on his experiences 
He and Josh tell Randonautica that they want to manifest something dark and twisted in their exact words and let the app tell them where to explore. Through the woods is where they are told to go. A mysterious light in the woods leads them to a pentagram painted on a tree, a symbol that's as dark and twisted as it gets and it's only the beginning. Randonautica takes them to an abandoned house, and the same unexplained light is right there with them. It remains the same size no matter how close they get. The light takes them to the backyard where it goes behind an object at 16 minutes and 50 seconds, so it's not coming from their equipment at all. Also while they are exploring the area, this ghostly figure appears in the screen window. Tell me if you see it. It looks kind of like a face with two hands. While exploring the abandoned house, they see the face of another ghost in the hallway. At 21 minutes and 29 seconds, it's in front of the railing and looking down. That's when they hear the scariest sounds of all. We were using an app called Nautica. Police calling for them to come out and explain themselves. A man finds himself trapped on the 30th floor of the Shinjuku Center building in Tokyo after the entire city was rocked by a 9.1 quake. Now nowhere is safe and there is nothing left to do except to record as doors and cabinets swing open uncontrollably and the entire building shakes. Oh! Everything grows eerily silent, and then this voice cuts through the speakers. There is a lot of frantic chatter in the background, so I think it was a live broadcast, not a recording. Try and translate if you can, because if you were there, your life may have very well have depended on following these instructions. <laughs> After a while, the speakers turn off, and the guest hopelessly watches as the buildings sway like trees. It's kind of hard to see what I'm talking about, because the building he's in is shaking too. This second video taken near the top floor of the Shinjuku Center building shows how bad the shaking really was. The buildings look like they are going to topple at any moment, but they are actually designed to be incredibly flexible and can withstand intense vibrations. Keep in mind that these are just the smaller aftershocks and not the actual quake itself, which was, believe it or not, much worse. What happens when a demon thinks they're in a boxing ring? YouTubers Raphael and Jennifer from Melhor Video Top 5 share this video in which a demon comes for him, but first it's banging around in the toilet. Thermal energy imaging shows a figure in the bathroom, even though nothing is there. Near the haunted doll, this happens. And then the spirit grows angry. And becomes quite aggressive. What is this demon trying to accomplish by knocking Raphael to the ground? I personally think he's sending a clear message. You're not wanted here. It certainly seems like this place is haunted. Work. This spirit must have a presentation coming up. Redditor ZJOSA shares this video, which they say happened to a close friend while working late. Desde hace rato escuché que se estaban moviendo las cosas. Desde allá de la esquina, mira. Desde hace rato estaba escuchando que se mueve la... No mames. The chair spins on its own. Many in the comments are skeptical and wonder why the woman started recording in the first place, 
but the Redditor has an answer for it. Many others say her fearful reaction seems legit. I don't want to dismiss this too quickly because I agree that her reaction seems real. I'm going to reserve judgment on this one. Which side are you on here? Number 7. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.